Let's build the best bone mill farm. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to break five blocks just like this. Go ahead and set composters inside of all of those holes and then place down hoppers running into those composters and then place hoppers running into those hoppers just like this. Go ahead and place obsidian right behind those hoppers. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab some building blocks and you're going to build back 13 blocks just like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create a wall of pistons five blocks long just like this and then go ahead and fill in the wall on this side as well just like that. Go ahead and place blocks behind these pistons and then waterlog all of these pistons just like so. All right now what you want to do is you want to place down three blocks like this and three blocks right here. Go ahead and fill in above the pistons and then create a wall of dispensers just like this, crouch placing them all into one another. So it should look like this. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab a lava bucket and set a lava bucket right in the middle here and it should create a wall of stone as the lava flows. So it's all across. So we're gonna have some stone and then all of this water is going to be gone. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to place leaves in front of all of these dispensers and then you want to build up by two on both sides and then just create a nice little wall on top of the leaves. So your farm should now look like this. Now what you wanna do is you wanna set down a block right here, place down a hopper running into that block, break this block and run a hopper into that hopper, place down an observer looking into the center hopper and then run redstone across this back wall. Go ahead and place a block right here, break that bottom block and then place down another redstone dust just like so. Go ahead and run a comparator out of this hopper and a comparator out of that hopper. Place down a block right here and a block right here with redstone dust on top of both of those. Then what you want to do is you want to place down a piston right there and a piston right there. Go ahead and slap a lever on top of this piston and then place down a redstone block on top of this hopper with the lever. Go ahead and flick it and it is going to go across and then this is going to be how you start and stop the farm. Go into this hopper now and place down five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, just like so. And then you can go ahead and turn this off. And what it's gonna do is every time those five blocks get exchanged, it's gonna push this redstone block across and then it's going to create this nice little wall of stone. And again, this is going to be the main clock for the farm. So to turn off the farm, just simply flick this lever and then you are good to go. It's gonna stop now and this piston is going to be extended and we can actually do the same thing on this one as well. So it's gonna stop the farm, as you can see. All right, the next thing we wanna do is we want to fill up these dispensers back here. So you just wanna put in a water bucket inside of each of these dispensers, just like so. And we're gonna do this for every single one. Now what you wanna do is you wanna place redstone dust on top of all of those dispensers and grab glass now and then just cage in this area. So we're gonna go all the way around with glass. After that, what you're gonna do is you're going to dig down two blocks. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create a hopper line to deliver the bone meal that we're gonna create with the farm back into the farm. That way it is fully self-sufficient. So you wanna dig this tunnel over seven. So five, six, and seven, just like so. Go ahead and place a dropper right here. And then what you wanna do is you want to dig out all of these blocks underneath of the composters, and you're going to simply run a hopper line through the composters over to that dropper, just like so. Now what you wanna do is you wanna come over to this dropper and you wanna dig out these back two blocks, and you wanna place down two observers looking at each other to create an infinite clock. This might take a couple tries, but there you go, just like that. So if we go ahead and throw in an item, it's gonna get dispensed quickly. So now what we wanna do is we just wanna patch up this hole, place down a soul sand block on top of it, and then we are just going to fill in this hole now. So just like that, bury that hopper line, and then we're going to place glass all around this tube. All right, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna place down a block right below this block of redstone with a redstone repeater coming out of it set to two ticks. Place down an observer looking into that redstone repeater with a redstone dust right behind it. 
And then what you want to do is you want to set down a block right here and a block right here with redstone dust on top. And then place down a piece of glass, a piece of glass, and then another piece of glass just like that. Go ahead from here now and build out three blocks just like so. And then you want to come over here, come up one, break this block, and then create another trail of blocks just like so. Go ahead and throw redstone dust all over these blocks just like this and then we're going to build the center contraption now all right so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place down a dispenser right here and then you want to place down a moss block just like this right in front of that dispenser build up two blocks break this block right here and then place a dropper going down into that dispenser just like so go ahead and place a block right here and a block right here and then what you want to do is you want to have a piston looking downwards at the moss block just like so all right the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place down two redstone dust just like this have an observer looking at that redstone just just like so place down a redstone lamp right here and then you want to break this block and have a hopper running into this dropper place down a redstone repeater on top set to one tick just like so and then you want to place down a block right here and then have a dropper on top of that block and then place down a block on top of this redstone lamp and then have a stair just like so so it should look like this now all right one quick fix is you want to break this observer and actually invert it so it's looking at the redstone lamp that way this piston is being activated so just make that change and we are good to go all right we are quite nearly done all we need to do now is add in the actual bone meal input and you know set up this water stream so place down a hopper running into that dispenser with a singular chest on top place down two hoppers just like so and then finish off our glass tube over here so we're going to build up just like this and this is how we're going to transport our items up to the actual farm so that way all of the bone meal it produces will go right back to the farm to produce even more bone meal let's we'll place down a glass block right here now what you want to do is hop in here and we're just going to waterlog all of these blocks and we'll get pushed up by the water stream it's actually quite a fun process but as you can see now all of the bone meal that gets thrown in here so we'll just throw in a test piece of glass you know what that's actually not going to work because it's going to be composted all right so what's going to happen is when it makes bone meal it's going to come up it's going to shoot out and then it's going to go across into this chest all right so that was a very lengthy process but we're finally here we are ready to use the farm so to use it, what you're going to do is you're going to go into this chest, throw in a stack of bone meal, and then what you're going to do is turn this lever off. As you can see, it's going to start making tons and tons of moss, and it's going to get shot across, and it's all going to be composted, and then it's going to end up in this water stream. So if we just wait a second, it's going to fill up. You can see the composters are being filled up, and then bone meal will be shot out of this tube, and then go back into the chest. It does take a minute to start up, but as you can see, it is already producing bone meal. And honestly, this thing makes quite a bit. In my testing, I got 500 bone meal in an hour, which is absolutely incredible. But this is going to be probably the best bone meal farm that you're going to get in 1.18 due to them removing kelp farms and zero ticking and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's going to do for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please do consider smashing the subscribe button and leaving a like. My name is 1FMC. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.